Urban explorers love to explore abandoned buildings and spaces that humanity has forgotten. When explaining his passion for urban exploration, Mike Carell said, One of the things that has always attracted me to abandoned locations is the austere beauty of the neglected or forgotten. The textures, colors, shadows, and lines speak of a life once lived within the confines, and the absence is as empty as it is filled. It's a time they believe the gates of hell have opened and all the ghosts are wandering the earth, especially all the ocean ghosts. So join us as we look at the 15 creepiest things discovered by urban explorers. Hurricane Prison The first urban explorer we'll be looking at is a guy named Jay who was traveling through New Orleans. And this is a city that was devastated by Hurricane Katrina in the 2000s. When the hurricane hit, most people fled or hid. But in this prison, the inmates were simply left behind. Jay visited the Orleans Parish Prison, where its inmates were simply cut off and abandoned. According to Jay, the 617 inmates inside this sky-rise prison were left stranded with no ventilation, food, or water trapped in their cells. Some were even flooded with water up to their chest. Some managed to bust down the cell door and get to the roof to write an SOS message asking for food. After the chaos was over, 500 inmates were unaccounted for. The prison shut down in 2012, but remnants of this tragedy are still present in this building. For Jay, this prison was an emotional roller coaster. There were now abandoned cell blocks and a medical center. At the gym, Jay hit the punching bag and a bit of it fell off. When they reached the top, they made it to the most horrifying aspect of the trip. This was where the abandoned inmates waited to be rescued, but nobody came. Written on the walls are the words help and food. It was absolutely chilling. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Next up is our missing topic. This was found by an urban explorer who wishes not to be named as he believes that what he saw is top secret and releasing this information could be potentially dangerous. He's an American guy who was passing through a number of European cities and then decided to venture through an abandoned forest. The outer reaches of the forest were inhabited by hikers, joggers, and sightseers. But once he delved further and further into the woods, there was nobody around. Eventually, he reached a spot where he was completely alone. Or so he thought. He stumbled upon this vehicle. It was too long to be a limousine and had wheels, so it was not a train carriage either. He had never seen a vehicle like this before. And how did such a huge vehicle like this get in the forest? How could a vehicle of this length pass through this maze of trees? This is where we need your help. What do you think is happening in this picture? Let us know in the comments and be sure to include the hashtag missing topic. We're honestly stumped by this, so let us know as soon as you can. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Cave Under Haunted House Next up is footage from an urban explorer named Cappy who's filming what looks like a haunted house. The plot thickens, though, when he discovers that there's essentially a cave underneath the entire house. And like any good urban explorer, he decided to venture down into this scary cave. He found that the rocks were covered by moss and a horrible smell was coming from the cave. He looked down further into it and found some water. Cappy then jokes that he wishes he brought his metal detector as he believes there could be some cool stuff down here. He eventually reached a dead end in the cave as there was simply too much water but it looked like an entire stream system was beneath the house. The underground cave and stream seemed quite suspicious, but a commenter on the video gave a more innocent explanation. The user said, This was a common practice to build the house over a spring source and run it through the basement. It would create a cold cellar where goods can be preserved longer and it also protected the water source at the point of where you draw the water. Commenters also pointed out how beautiful the house is still, despite being abandoned. One user said, Sure wish I had found this place 20 years ago and renovated it. What a treasure. Anyone with a lick of sense should buy this, fix it, and live in it. You can tell it was built from excellent craftsmanship. For less than the cost of a tic-tacky home, you could have had a beautiful, solid house. <laughs> Japanese Wild West Village In the same way many Americans are obsessed with anime and martial arts movies, there are also Japanese people who are obsessed with cowboys in the Wild West and in the 1970s, a Wild West amusement park was opened. It was a place where you could enjoy simple cowboy activities. You could go horse riding, 
learned to lasso and do some fishing. Eventually, it grew into an actual theme park. But in the mid-2000s, the park seemed to lose popularity. Nobody in Japan wanted to be a cowboy anymore. They reduced ticket prices, but this simply wasn't enough. Today, the Wild West Village is a ghost town. It has stood derelict for nearly 15 years, and there's not a cowboy in sight. Urban explorer Micah Moore decided to see what the park looked like today. This involved walking across an incredibly dangerous canyon road bridge. Everything you would expect to see in a cowboy village is there, such as saloons, churches, and the sheriff offices. Cowboy-themed arcade games were also there, and there's even a mini Mount Rushmore built as well as a shooting range. It's almost a trip back into two periods of time, the Wild West of America and Japan 20 years ago. <laughs> Soviet Space Shuttle When Neil Armstrong first stood foot on the mountain, it was a great day for humanity, but it was specifically a great day for America who had beaten the Soviet Union in what's known as the space race. Both the US and Russia were desperate to get to the moon first and demonstrate which one was superior. Once the Soviet Union knew it had lost this race, its space program was largely abandoned. So, in a hangar in Kazakhstan, which used to be part of the Soviet Union, there's an abandoned space shuttle, and the Urban Explorer Channel had to find out what it looks like today. This involved driving all night to get to the spot, but at the same time not getting caught. They climbed in through a window and soon found the shuttle and climbed inside. The shuttle looked old and worn on the outside, but on the inside, the shuttle looked completely new. It was built to go into space so it could survive even the very worst of conditions. So, 30 years inside a hangar in Kazakhstan left not much damage to the inside. The Buran had one flight in November 1988. A year later, the Berlin Wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed. The newly independent nation of Kazakhstan had a space shuttle they didn't know what to do with, so they just left it there. What could have been the most iconic space shuttle of all time is just wasting away at an abandoned site. Mm -hmm. Door in the Mountain Our next explorer comes from a channel known as Red Media. He's walking along a mountain until a plank is used as a walkway into the door in the mountain. When he gets to the cave, there are warning signs to be careful. But to urban explorers, these warning signs only motivate them even more. And the chaff walk is an ice cave often nicknamed as the door in the mountain. It looks as if the mountain is a building and this is the passageway inside. In the YouTube description, it reads, In 1822, General Henry DeFore visited that cave to write about it. It's called the Shafok, sheep hole in English. We have sheep up there. Then before the Second World War, the Swiss Army built this bunker into it. Reinforcements in the form of concrete walls, iron doors, and shooting holes. It wasn't used and it's currently open to hikers at their own risk. As you may already know, Switzerland was neutral during World War II, but this is partly because of how well protected the Swiss are. They're so well prepared for war that nobody bothers invading them, including Hitler. This hidden bunker is a reminder that the Swiss are a friendly people, but ready for war if need be. <laughs> <laughs> UFO Village In Taiwan, there's a place known as UFO Village, but these are not actually UFOs, yet there is still an incredible amount of mystery surrounding them. According to Atlas Obscura, there doesn't seem to be any publicly accessible information as to where they came from, or even exactly where they were built. This pod village sprung up in the 1970s, but not much has happened since. The square-shaped structures are known as venutros, whereas the circular-shaped ones are called futuros. The reason why this place was abandoned could be that a nearby property development was made around the same time and they couldn't find anyone to live there, or that the houses became too expensive to build. John Sabo is an urban explorer who dared venture into this UFO village. The pods are run down and dilapidated and the place looks apocalyptic. The mystery surrounding the place has led to a number of rumors. There is believed to have been a number of unexplained accidents at the site as well as suicides. The footage of the place is incredibly chilling. Abandoned Rothschild Mansion You might recognize this abandoned mansion from the movies. It's been shown in Batman Begins, Eyes Wide Shut, and Brazil. In the first Christopher Nolan Batman movie, this house was Bruce Wayne's mansion. You would think there would be queues of people who would love to live in Batman's mansion, but the house has been abandoned. It was a house built in the 1800s and owned by Baron de Rothschild, 
an English businessman and part of the Rothschild family who invented modern banking. It was this house where precious artworks were also hidden during World War II, particularly valuables from the royal family. The urban explorer Vacant Haven has decided to explore the house. They traveled up through the trees in case somebody was actually in the house looking out. What's inside is an incredibly derelict building. There are rooms with furniture and household ornaments chucked everywhere. Lots of fairly impressive paintings are also just lying about. Like the haunted mansion we saw earlier, this is another amazing house that's just been abandoned and left to decay. <laughs> abandoned Shopping Mall Our next discovery is not something limited to one specific area. In fact, these can be found all across the USA. These are abandoned shopping malls, which look like something out of a horror or zombie movie. And this is what was discovered by the urban explorer Urbex Off Limits. He came at night with a torch, specifically in search of an abandoned Mexican restaurant. He hears a lot of noise but then realizes that it's some of the neon lights buzzing. The mall has been completely untouched since its abandonment. They see a card shop full of birthday cards that will never be received by anyone. Someone wrote on the video, It's sad seeing a mall that was once visited by hundreds of people in a day to now being forgotten. How many memories were made here? How many artifacts left behind? The COVID-19 pandemic is sometimes referred to as retail apocalypse, as it severely impacted the retail industry. At first, they lost business because people were hesitant about leaving their home. Then, they experienced lockdowns where people simply weren't allowed to visit their stores. People began switching to online shopping and shopping malls lost out on a lot of business. And this trend is only set to continue. Expect to see more and more of these shopping malls around the world. <laughs> abandoned City So far, we've seen abandoned houses and even shopping malls. But what about an entire abandoned city? Welcome to Ocean Falls in British Columbia, Canada. If you ever want to visit, you need to travel by boat or by seaplane. For thousands of years, the area was inhabited by the Heitzuk people. These were First Nations people with their own unique language and culture. But in the early 1900s, European settlers decided to invade the area. When they saw the abundance of forests and open lakes, they decided to take charge. Soon, major companies decided to exploit the resources and it became a small town. A few large companies were thriving and employing almost everyone in the town. But by the 1970s, these companies pulled out of Ocean Falls and its factories were shut down. Most of its residents were now unemployed, and this had a knock-on effect. The convenience store owners and restaurant owners now had no customers. Eventually, the town was abandoned. This abandoned city was visited by urban explorer Life of Fluke. He visited its largest hotel, with 400 rooms unoccupied for roughly 50 years. He visited a dance hall, where undoubtedly many memories were made. He walked the empty streets full of decaying houses, which have grown vegetation and weeds all over them. The video received some fascinating comments, even from people who used to live in this now abandoned town. It's a sad tale of how the town was destroyed in the space of a few decades, yet the original First Nations people lived there peacefully for centuries. The House in the Rock Deep in the heart of the English Midlands are those forgotten houses. People long ago had converted caves into homes. These former homes are believed to be hundreds of years old and have become covered in vegetation. In the year 1654, John Evelyn was traveling and recorded in his diary that he saw a diverse people who live in rocks and caves. The last person believed to have lived in these dwellings is a man named John Bramwell, who died in 1900. John's great-granddaughter, Angie, wrote in 1979, I think John lived there for the last 10 years with no other neighbors in the 1890s. The house was on Rock Hill and it's still there. John got married in 1836 and all 10 of his children were born in the Rock House. Urban explorer Adam Mark ventured into one of the homes. There was a main living room full of chairs and fire and then behind it was a bedroom. These were simple, modest homes. The questions on everyone's mind have been, who owns them? And do they pay any rent or mortgages? The answer is a person named William Hall and owned all of the land and John paid rent to him. William Hall sold the land in 1910, but only under the condition that they be preserved as a memory to the past. <sighs> Fairy Tale Shoe House Our next discovery is also in Britain, but in the Isle of Wight, an island off the south coast. Here's an amazing boot-shaped home which looks like something from a nursery rhyme. 
the Facebook page Abandoned UK came across this boot and wrote, This took some finding, but we did it. So after walking through the woods for ages trying to find the boot, we finally saw it at the bottom of a steep cliff. We eventually made it down in one piece, almost like rock climbing at some stages. Apparently, a woman lived in the boot in the 1950s. And of course, this reminded everyone of the nursery rhyme of the little old woman who lives on a shoe. But this is a fairy tale written in 1794. So this was not the woman who lived in a shoe who it was based upon. After its abandonment, the house became a cool place for kids to play. <laughs> Underwater prison. Estonia is a small country in Eastern Europe, which used to be part of the Soviet Union. And Soviet prisons were not nice places to be. But believe it or not, one of these Soviet prisons is now underwater. The prison was built inside a limestone quarry in the 1940s where the inmates were forced to toll. But in the 1990s, Estonia gained independence and the Soviet Union was no more. But this prison was left to waste. Over time, groundwater seeped into the quarry. And today, we now have a prison which is almost entirely underwater. Because of this, the spot has now become a popular spot for divers where they can swim through an abandoned prison. The YouTube channel TreaderTube traveled over and scuba dived through the prison. They found a series of rusty and ramshackled machinery. Lots of random objects lay littered across the bottom of the ocean. Divers have even put found items on a specific ledge to showcase what they found. It's unclear as to why this prison was never destroyed. A lot of former Soviet countries tore down its communist buildings in the hopes of starting afresh. Estonia is now a relatively wealthy country, but this was not the case when they became independent and they left it too late until it was underwater. Or maybe they thought of leaving it there to serve as a reminder of their dark past and the hardship previous generations had to go through. And the irony is if they removed this Soviet prison to make Estonia a nicer place, they would not receive the same influx of dark tourists. <laughs> McBarge In Vancouver, Canada, there's something known as the McBarge. This is a floating McDonald's, which has since been abandoned. The restaurant has been closed since 1986. It was also used as a filming location for the 2004 superhero movie Blade Trinity. In 2017, an unsuccessful crowdfunding page was set up to help revitalize the McBarge. If they managed to renovate the entire boat, you'd be stepping inside a McDonald's from the 80s. There are rumors that this boat will soon be renovated and transformed into a floating seafood restaurant, but until then, it will remain the McBarge. <laughs> Rosie the Shark Rosie the Shark is a deceased but also preserved 5-meter great white shark that was once left in an abandoned wildlife park in Australia. Urban explorers Luke EMC visited Rosie up close to see what it was like. The shark was caught in 1997 after wandering into a fisherman's tuna fishing nets. There was no way to free her safely, so the shark was humanely killed. Wildlife Wonderland took an interest in the shark and purchased it off the fisherman and decided to put the gigantic sea creature on display. Rosie was on display in a tank until 2012 when Wildlife Wonderland closed down. With the wildlife park abandoned, the site became a spot for teenagers and was often vandalized. A TV was then thrown inside Rosie's tank. This was shown in 2018 footage and it soon went viral. It went so viral that someone wanted to buy Rosie the shark once more. In 2019, Rosie was purchased again and now sits inside the Crystal World Exhibition Center. <laughs> Abandoned Skyscraper Our last spot brings us back to where we started. New Orleans. And lastly, what could be creepier than an entirely abandoned skyscraper? This is Plaza Towers, which stretches 45 stories high, but not a single soul inhabits the building. It's actually the third tallest building in all of New Orleans and Louisiana. So why would an entire skyscraper become unused? The simple reason is safety. The building has been closed down since 2002 because of asbestos and mold. It was sold in 2005 for $4 million. The person who bought a 40-story building for this price probably thought they stumbled upon a bargain. But in 2011, they sold the building for $250,000. $250,000 for a 40-story building is simply unheard of. But given that 10 years have passed and the doors remain shut, this might even be a lost cause. Demolishing a 45-story is easier said than done. Despite the dangers associated with this place, Urban Explorer Condition Orange decided to venture inside wearing a gas mask. 
The building had also been rescued due to an alleged murder at the location. What they found were empty parking lots and stairs. A lot of the doors had been boarded up. Graffiti was everywhere, suggesting that people always come up here. The floor numbers are even marked. They reached the top and saw a mattress. Somebody had been living there, and they soon found out why they had been secretly living at the top. There are drugs scattered across a table. Well, at least somebody is getting use out of that building. And that just brings us to the end of this journey. Hopefully, this video has sparked an interest in urban exploring and their many, many adventures. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more, and we'll see you soon.